I am moving, 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 moving. I've been working on this for a couple weeks. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty big job. Hello, minders. Welcome back to the Mind of Watercolor. Well, as you can see, and as you can tell, if you watched my April Fool's episode, I am moving. Thank you for indulging me in my April Fool's joke. I know some of you thought I was pretty much a stinker for doing that. I'm sorry. I just got so many belly laughs out of that. Thank you for playing along. For the foreseeable future, my YouTube channel is going nowhere. Yeah, so basically this space has always been a sort of an attic storage area. But also as time evolved, it became my painting studio when I started YouTube. I also have this whole digital design space that I used when I freelanced. That's still there. I still use that. But it's kind of dark, limited room for painting, not conducive to painting and drawing. And the bulk of my freelance work was digital. Even before YouTube, I designed this space to come back and draw and paint. It's just a, an extra space, but with YouTube coming, it sort of evolved and needed to become more. But as you can see, the space is very limited and still very unfinished. Well, we have five kids. Uh, four of them were grown and married and have kids of their own. Our youngest uh, was living here up until just before Christmas. She's old enough, decided, hey, I'm going out on my own. And it had always been planned that her bedroom would become my new studio space. We loved having her here. We were not rushing her out of here. It was totally her decision and we're happy for her. She's happy. I'm super happy with, with the studio space. So let's get into some of the moving, which by the way, is still in progress. Well, you may find it interesting that I've actually moved my studio 11. This will be the 12th time. This was my first, very first commercial office 40 years ago. I moved from here to here, then from here to this building, and then twice more in this building, then to this building, and then once more within this building, then this building, which was our former home, and then two more times in this home as our family grew, and finally to the house we're in now. Yeah, I've had my fill of moves and I hope this is the last. Now, so from here, it's just a little jaunt down the hall. This is a sneak peek I gave you. Let's take a look at the full studio. 
So this was formerly uh, my youngest daughter's bedroom. Been working hard to get it set up. I've got new bookshelves, a few new uh, fixtures, uh, a few of the same old fixtures, and I'm still organizing and putting stuff away. This right here is something I've been working on for a few days, trying to get the lighting set up, and that's been a big deal for video, but I'm really happy with it now. If you've seen previous studio tours, you know I used an artist easel as an overhead rack to mount my camera as well. This time, and that wasn't going to work back here, so what I did is uh, got these booms, and I mean I played with three or four different light setups. This is where I ended up, which seems to be working really well. I got a nice full closet now, which I didn't have before. Patrons, by the way, I'm going to do a behind the scenes video of some of my commercial portfolio work. I thought that'd be fun. Uh, I went through all my portfolios and threw out tons of old samples and stuff, but I still have some of my old work. And I'm going to show you some of that. I hadn't looked at that in years. So patrons, stay tuned to that. The big thing is we're still uh, in the process of moving all these books and I have a ton more. I have a bunch I'm getting rid of too. This is new, this print rack. Super, super happy with this. I can set portfolios in here to look through. I had no place to do that in the other studio. So I had to set it on the floor or on my chair. Very happy. I still have my old battleship grungy file cabinet that just stores some paperwork and a lot of samples and clippings for reference somewhere over here with without the easel in the way let me pull it back i haven't quite worked it out it's going to be my new intro angle i've got a sign lighted sign it's going to go in the back you can see reese's new resting position <laughs> So a lot of this will be tweaked as we go. What I'm really excited about is I have now, which I did not have almost anywhere, a whole wall to display art. Some of my art, art that I'm interested in and has inspired me over the years. So I've got plans for that and that, we have a high ceiling there. So I've got plenty of room for that. Very excited. I'm really excited about this gray table, work table. I've never had room for a work table in the other studio. I have, in the digital studio, I have a, a small art desk that usually stays cluttered. But I love this. I got this used. Just really rugged, heavy duty. So it's exciting to have a work table now, in addition to my regular art workspace revamping some of the ways that I hold brushes, trying to consolidate. Mostly I was using old coffee cups, <laughs> trying to switch out some of that. A lot of stuff was stored in cups on my desk because there was nowhere else to put it. So we're rethinking and redoing that. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. So I put a few final tweaks into the studio and there'll be more and hopefully I'll be able to do another vlog when I get it completely finished finished. How about you guys out there? Do you have any interesting moving or studio stories? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks everyone for watching. Thank you patrons for your unending support. Very important to keep this channel going. We'll see everybody in the next video. Bye bye.